Deep under the sea is the Dragon Palace, home of the Dragon King. Shall we follow the hare and the tortoise and see the palace for ourselves? The Hare's Liver Deep under the sea, there was a serious problem brewing in the Dragon Palace. The Dragon King was ill. The doctors under the sea tried everything to cure him, but nothing worked. The King's illness only got worse. One day, a new doctor came. The only cure is medicine made from the liver of a hare, one who lives in the mountain forest. Oh, how can we get it? <laughs> Just then, one of the servants, a tortoise, spoke up. Shire, I volunteer. The tortoise left to find the hare, which the doctor had described. I know I can find this hare. I'll cure the Dragon King's illness. The tortoise finally made it to land. Wandering through the forest, he met the hare. He told her the Dragon King had invited her to the palace. Come with me to the palace. There's a lot of great food. Hearing about the delicious food, the hare was tempted. Hmm, undersea trip? Good food? Why not? The hare finally agreed to follow the tortoise to the Dragon Palace. The tortoise hurried to the Dragon Palace with the hare on his back. Wow! What's that? What's this? I had no idea the land under the sea would be so great. <sighs> the hare did not know what was waiting for her. She just enjoyed her first visit to the sea. The hare looked around the palace curiously. But hey, what's going on here? The servants are starting to tie her up. The hare, all tied up, was taken to the Dragon King. Oh, oh you're a hare. <coughs> they say the only cure for my illness is to eat your liver. I'm sorry, but you'll have to give it to me. <coughs> The hare finally realized that she'd been tricked by the tortoise. Then she suddenly had an idea. I'd be happy to help you, but I can't. I didn't bring my liver. It's at home. They couldn't believe their ears. They had no choice but to release her. The tortoise left for the shore with the hare on his back again. Hare, I really appreciate your giving the king your liver. Don't worry about it. Let's just hurry to the shore. Arriving on the sh the, the tortoise asked. Hare, where's your liver? My liver? Safe in my belly. Do 
Did you really believe I left my liver at home? I'm leaving. Bye! The hare ran into the forest without looking back once. The tortoise followed after the hare. He couldn't catch up with her. Not knowing what to do next, he began to cry. But then the hare returned. She had mountain ginseng in her hand. Take this mountain ginseng to the Dragon King. It will cure him instantly. Really? Thank you so much, hare. The tortoise returned to the Dragon Palace. He gave the mountain ginseng to the Dragon King. The king got better right away. Tortoise, you have earned a reward. The Dragon King granted the tortoise a big reward. All the animals under the sea were happy that their king was well again. Originally, this story was told in a musical performance in the traditional Korean style called Pansori. Its title was Sugunga, Water Palace Song. Pansori used melody and lyrics to tell stories. Did you like the story? Do you think you would enjoy it as Pansori as well? <laughs>